good morning everyone my topic is the theory of ideal forms <clears throat> asking somebody what the perfect version of something might sound strange the idea of perfect marriage or perfect system of government or school it can feel immature and naive to bother how much to bother it can feel immature and naive to bother much with such questions that just day dreams after all who cares about ideal version but great philosopher great great ancient philosopher plato strongly disagreed with this through his work he argued that focusing on ideal version of something is the most useful kind of thoughtful exercise we can generate by knowing this what by knowing what we think should be something like and what could be more clearly start to define what might go wrong and focus on what we need to make the world slightly better place so the idea of calling ideal the form of the form of friendship the form of parental love <clears throat> for example like a sculptor when a mason, when a stone mason is carving out a ornament or a sculpture he wouldn't just make it himself he would use a wooden template or the form to check if they're doing it right the form itself was made by the master if the mason possesses the form they could be more reliable to the perfect work this basically picture of what ideal is it's a guide we need that shows us how to how to do something well ourselves if you possess the form of possess you if we have the possession of form it can be we can be guided towards the true goal form is basically a blueprint a set of instructions making a very good version of something that's all we need a well thought set of forms to guide us in life and unsurprisingly this is the philosophy that can guide us through these forms <clears throat> the physical world we see is not a real world it is actually a less perfect copy of ideal of forms we we can think of forms as abstract perfect unchanging concept of ideas that transcend time and space the real world is actually composed of pure forms of essence like for example what makes an apple it's appleness what do all wise men have in common wisdom so for example this circle both of these circles can be figured out as a circle but what is the true identity that makes itself so we can never find out a perfect circle but only in our ideal form which is in the metaphysical world so for example the like the circle so according to plato the every original form or the real form lies in the metaphysical world and everything that we see is a copy of it so it it is derived from the word meta and physics meta is the meaning of after so something that that comes beyond the realm of reality for example a form of friendship the form of friendship is the mental mode of what really good friendship actually involves if you grasp this model if this idea is active in our mind we will know how to be a good friend or in case of education having the form of education in mind is going to be very useful for the teacher it might stop her from being annoyed and by everyday events everyday pressures and she will be able to keep in mind what ideal i what ideally she should be going for we have typically thought of ideas as fantasy projections that ignore most of what what life actually is like we think of them as opposite of being realistic rather they should be the result of deep understanding and more careful engagement with the reality if an idea seems utterly distant and hopeless maybe the problem isn't it's too idealistic but in a strange way actually it's not idealistic enough that is we've not quite yet discovered the form we shouldn't abandon our ideas we should be more ambitious about them and the theory of form is right there to help us <clears throat> Thank you.